Okej, okay, så so this is just a quick little video on how to do floating combat text in Unity 4.6 plus. Uh, at least up to 6. I am in Unity 5.0.1 F1 personal. So uh, it is possible that they change the UI one more time, but uh, uh, it's actually quite good when you get to get used to it. I'm not that great with it, I'm very new on um, on the new UI system and uh, the solution that I did might not be the best solution but it, at least it works. I did try just making one big canvas and putting the text on the, the correct position but it felt like that was causing um, more problems than uh, because it just got so much more advanced getting the position and stuff than just instantiating a canvas and I'm not really using instantiate in my um, in the game I'm building, this is not the game, this is just an example uh, I'm using an object pole and pulling the text from there instead but um, in this example it's just uh, instantiate and destroy if you are doing for a mobile phone or mobile device then I can really recommend not using the instantiate however this example should be enough to show you how, uh, how to integrate this if you want to use it I am also sharing the resources in the description but if the link is broken or something due to the time and I might not update it then I will still show how to do this in um, uh, how to get it to work and I will show the the script so that you can pause and write them off. So uh, as you can see it comes up either a text or a point and how it works is that it always priority the, the points. And this would be the enemies in this case and this may be a Super Mario mushroom or something like that. So if it got a zero points it will take the text instead. If it takes let's say 150 points instead then it will show 150 points. And if it got nothing, it should just make a blank one. No, it actually shows zero. That might be something to to check up later. No, I actually wrote zero. Oh my god. I'm a little bit tired, there we go. <laughs> I was a little bit surprised, like oh my god, I thought I actually made it so it wouldn't show anything at all if there was nothing to show. But uh, you shouldn't really make an object if uh, if there is nothing in it. But uh, just so it doesn't cause any problems if you don't want if you have the same like a script or something like that and don't want it to uh, some enemies to give any points or stuff like that. And it could be good to have a little. Um, security feature there. So uh, these objects if you wonder they are actually just sprites. I can make a new one here real fast. It's a sprite with a box collider 2D on. That's pretty much it except that it needs a little script to call, call um, to instantiate the, the prefab. And this is the text prefab. You can show this uh, yeah, I show this uh, first here. Let's see, that was the new one we did. It's set to zero, so let's uh, let's just write the new. It should now just spawn a little new text. So it is pretty easy to use, and uh, the text prefab. That's where you set the speed, and uh, if you want it to be really fast, it's like ten go really fast and this is a destroy timer it will probably be zero in the beginning if it is zero it will just be destroyed in zero seconds it won't show uh, anything it won't show anything at all if you want it to be still like no speed at all uh, then you can use zero so yeah these two are set from other scripts uh, so they uh, you don't have to bother with those it's just these two little parameters here and the text is the text that is under the canvas if you have a look at um, the prefab here it needs to be in resources 
prefabs and we name text on spot for the script to work if you want to change the directory or name you will have to change that in the script so it's a game object an empty and it has the text on spot script on it I can actually make a make a new one as an example here real fast just to show how to uh, to do it if the the asset link is broken so I'm creating an empty and uh, since it needs to be named text on spot in this case you can have multiple but for simplicity I'm going to take text on spot that's the game object that it will look for then I will attach a canvas and in the canvas I will set a text and it will look for um, uh, a child object of text on spot until it finds a text object and that will be this one but as you can see the canvas is like seriously big and to make it work properly I need to set it to workspace I will also center the position to the, to the game object and I'm going to scale it down like really really much because they are huge in the beginning and C isn't really important since this is 2D if your text is displaying the wrong way in when you start the game then you need to flip the canvas around on rotation so that the text shows the correct uh, sometimes, I'm not sure why, but sometimes it does uh, get the, uh, the wrong rotation I also like to add a canvas group and uh, remove interactable and block raycast and set alpha to 1 and this it would be very easy to integrate into the script if you want to have like half transparent text or something like that. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, that's the canvas and it's, it's a decent size. This is customizable how you like it. And um, see, here I already got the scaler on, but I'm not gonna use the scaler for this. Uh, I'm going to click the anchor here and uh, hold on alt to get the other options and then I can like scale it to the entire canvas and this isn't important because it's replaced but I need to change the font size to the size I want if it comes here and uh, you're like oh my god that looks like really ugly then we can like we can set overflow sure what that was about but uh, if it's an overflow then it should go out of the, the canvas I'm going to center it on the on horizontally up and uh, vertically and that's basically all I have to do I can change the color to red so that you see that it's a, another text and uh, let's see here we also need to add the text on spot script and pull the text into the text prefab and uh, set a speed <coughs> and I'll destroy after in let's say like two seconds so that should now spawn my new text instead or not because I have not put it in the prefab sorry about that there we go there we go that's the new text that's how simple it is to do some other text and uh, in the scripts uh, sorry about that, that was uh, the wrong one I am a bit tired, it's it's not really early but I, <laughs> I was awake all night and if you hear something in the background it is my neighbors renovating so yeah this is the click me script and uh, I did this for simplicity this is the function that spawns the text and it's an instantiate uh, if you do make a game for a mobile platform then don't use instantiate, it is extremely heavy for uh, the phone and it will cause freeze lag and stuff like that, it's not fun at all this is the location, it loads from resources, prefabs, text or spot so if you have like a, a damage text and a point text then you can easily set it here like, you know, like damage, if you name it damage instead so you can call different um, types of text that way, just having prefabs for them and uh, yeah, that's 
basically it. Uh, in this test script here, I'm just using an on mouse down function that spawns uh, this function. You could probably make this um, a static, but that's a little bit more than I intend to do here. I just use this on um, on an enemy that when you kill it, it does this and it takes the um, variables set here, uh, the two public variables, and shows them here. If uh, here it checks for a text on spot object, and if it finds uh, the component text on spot script, it will do this, otherwise, it won't. This is where it sets the position of the text to the game object, uh, it's um, spawn from its position. So that's pretty easy. Uh, not sure why it's. Yeah, I changed a little here, that's why it's not saved. And if you do want this script, pause now <laughs> and write it off. There we go. And this is the text on spot script, this is the actually important one. <coughs> but it, it's not much code. It's pretty simple, it has a timer and uh, it takes text. This is what you set from another script. And this is the text object. So that this really needs to be the text object. If you set some mm -hmm. other text object, it will display it on, on that one instead. Uh, <coughs> then we got a, a speed variable here. And if the speed is zero, then it doesn't do the transform translate at all. Uh, not sure if this is a good translation or whatever, I just wanted it to move a little bit and this is what I came up with real fast but if zero is, if speed is zero then it won't even do this to save a little bit of processing power yeah, there is no need to make do it if if it's not uh, more than zero um, then we got a little uh, timer it takes the destroy after time and sets it at the timer and then it just counts it down if the timer is zero it destroys the text but um, if you have an object pool this is where you want to call it back to the object pool and reset it as well you need to reset these, um, these stats if you are pulling it back otherwise it might uh, keep the stats for the next time it's being spawned it priority points before text so if you let's see here if um, let's take one of them uh, this is an example it's that one <coughs> if I uh, put a uh, hundred points as an example here then it will show a hundred instead and um, it will always priority the points so if you want to show the text instead just put zero show the text. It's an easy solution, not the best way, but um, it works for me. And this is the plus sign if you see on the points. If you want to, to change the plus or configure how it looks, this is where you kind of do that. So we can pause here and write this off. And there should be in the description, but um, I'm not sure how long the link will stay um, active. Maybe it's just two downloads in a year or something like that and it will be out of the uh, remote by the, the host site. So this is the little script. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's very simple. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because there was no real help when I wanted to do the new UI floating text and I figured that when I figure it out I'm going to do a video on my own and, and show how I did it and this is <laughs> that video even though it's a little bit sucky but um, uh, the great thing about this is that I can now put the, the prefabs in an object pool and that will completely remove uh, or did at least completely remove the lag for me in um, on my mobile phone when it spawned and the other UI did cause issues not sure if it, it does that normally but it did so yeah that's um, 
that's how you do the floating comma text in Unity 4.6 plus. I am going to remove this one, delete, and just keep this as an example. There we go. Uh, I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.